all righty ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to an exclusively recorded video for youtube specifically this is not recorded for twitch uh this is something that i am doing exclusive that i'm adding to the beginning of the video before you guys get my official continuation playthrough series for honkai star rail i felt like this was very appropriate this was some information that has come my way by a viewer that i wanted to see for myself as like an early kind of added content format at the time of this recording i am already in bella bog on my official account you guys are looking at the new and improved free-to-play trash account aka my official free-to-play account that i'm going to be playing off stream but alongside my mainline series so i'm not buying anything on this account i am not buying battle pass i am not buying uh the uh, welkin moon equivalent i am not buying polls nothing nothing from the shop this is going to be official free-to-play and i will officially showcase this in a future video but at the time of this recording i am currently in bella bog on my main account i have just just met Svarog and Clara and uh, a viewer of mine actually gave me a really cool piece of information that there's actually a secret ending to the game that uh, is only experienced before you get on the Astral Express and uh, rather than go and watch a YouTube video on it I wanted to kind of showcase that for the YouTube series for any of you guys who don't know about it if you guys want to see it for yourselves officially it is going to be showcased right here right now so for where I am I just redid the prologue I just finished the uh, the beta test for the simulated universe and we now have the mission to officially hop all aboard the Astral Express. However, we do have to take a little bit of a detour. There are some character interactions that we're going to have to go through here, and uh, we are going to go through those so we can officially see how this secret ending, or some people are even dubbing it the bad ending. We're going to see how this plays out because uh, I can't experience this in my mainline playthrough. I'm already too far in the game to experience that. So um, I figured it would just be exciting to kind of showcase that for any of you guys, and uh, we can just kind Kind of showcase this at the beginning and then move on with the official playthrough yeah so like i said this is my free to play account free to play trash i will be showcasing this account once i get a little bit further in the playthrough probably by the end of bella bog so we can do some like official pulls so i can talk about the nature and the reason why i made this free to play account but again this is inserted at the beginning of the video so there is more content after this so stay tuned but actually how it officially starts is we actually have to talk to madam herta after we finish the simulated universe sequence before before we officially get on the Astral Express, so let's do that. Still haven't made up your mind? Fine. Since I'm interested in you, <laughs> I'll answer any questions you have. Also, I don't think I went through these questions the first time I talked to her, so I'll do that here as well. Uh, about Herta. Me? Well, talking about oneself is as pointless as it gets. <laughs> All right, you're the master of the space station. On paper, yes. Uh but I don't really care about this place. Damn. I built it, put some stuff in, <laughs> left some people here, and let them just manage themselves. <laughs> yeah, she's basically like, uh, yeah, I just let other people manage my stuff. I got bigger fish to fry. Asta's the lead researcher of the space station. Yeah, it's really hers. So for all in Exactly, purposes, that's what I was she's saying. She's the master. Yep. I reject the concept of ownership because I don't want the responsibilities that come with it. Yeah, she only wants to be able to say that this is her property. You really are a terrible person. It doesn't matter. Who cares if others don't like me? True. I know I don't care. Oh. As long as I have my own value, I can do whatever I want. I literally love Herta now. By the way, time to twirl. It's always time to twirl when we're with Herta. That's kind of like the meme that's going around the community uh, after we've played the game long enough to understand its in its ins and outs. But uh, I, when I first met Herta, I was very like a like I was very against her like kind of abrasive, condescending attitude. But I actually find it to be incredibly charming and very frank and blunt and upfront which is something that not a lot of characters kind of present that everyone wants to put their best foot forward herta doesn't give a shit what you think of her she's gonna say what's on her mind and you can take it or leave it and that's actually kind of grown on me to where i feel like she's gonna become one of my favorite characters well you may have good character do you have any value mm. uh, don't take that the wrong way uh i'm genuinely asking you you might have some value I just don't know. Her. I'm the main character. That's I have all the value. All right. What do you really look like? See, that's another thing, too. These are all puppets. So like she has an idol animation, too, where she like puts up a portrait of herself and she's like, oh, the real me looks better, which implies that she doesn't look like she does here. So I'm kind of wondering if she actually looks older or different. Human, female, young, beautiful, attractive. Oh, OK, not much different from what you're seeing now. I modeled it after how I looked back when I was a kid. Oh. It might not be identical, but 
I'd say maybe 70. Interesting. 80% there. That's also true too, because she de-aged. So she's lived a full life. So she's been a child, a teen, a young adult, a fully grown adult. All I cared about back then was solving the solitary wave problem. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Ignoring my precious childhood. I mean, you can de-age and relive that. I mean, you can only be a child once really, I guess, so. Stellarons, huh? Ask away. I'm listening. What exactly is a Stellaron? According to my research, Ooh. it's a type of life form with a special property that tethers it to a certain path yes! or eon's power. Yeah, I think the Stellaron that we have currently is tethered to the path of destruction, which is a Nanook. And um, I haven't gone through the Bellabog quest, but similar to Genshin, where we kind of attune ourselves to every element of like Animo, Geo, Electro, Dendro, etc. I feel like we're gonna, this character is gonna attune themselves to every Stellaron of, uh, of a given path. So the, the current path that we're on right now or the current world that we're on right now uh, which is bellabog focuses on the path of preservation which is founded or housed by clipop and the architects of that world are kind of like the followers of that path so i feel like the travel I, I feel like the trailblazer is going to start destruction and then go perseverance erudition and kind of down all of the paths that we know thus far wherever it's located it responds to that world's desires to advance its mm. civilization but this comes at the cost of some form of disaster oh. the mechanism behind it is likely related to nanook the destruction yep there it is what do you know about the stellaron hunters oh that weird bunch <laughs> I'm satisfied with just one stellar. But they've scoured the universe, obtained several, yeah. and still aren't satisfied. Interesting. I don't know what their true intentions are. I wonder are. if they're trying to collect all of them to kind of bring them all together to become like one true Stellaron or something. Also, Elio can uh, see the future. After going through this free-to-play account, yeah, Elio knows everything that's going to happen and put the characters right where they needed to be to awaken us. So, you know, they kind of have future sight on their side too. Screw them went up against the Stellar Ooh. Hunters before. I heard yep. there was a member whose hacking yep, skills yep, yep. were on par with Skrullum. Wow, Skrullum went toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Silverwolf. Yep. Oh, being on the same level as Skrullum, who's probably the best in the universe, <laughs> is nothing short of spectacular. Yeah. It's beyond my abilities. Computers are not my forte. Yeah, it makes sense. Why am I able to host the Stellaron? That's a good question. Huh. That I don't know. Interesting. Which is why I'm gearing up to solve this mystery. I'm curious too, like, why were we on the space? station as a receptacle as well that's another curious thing like were we there or did they insert us into the into the system i i, I don't know all right i have some other questions about the express the express shouldn't you be asking himiko instead probably but you're here now uh what is the astral express like you mean how it looks like a train well yeah akavili i was very interested in the express for a while and wrote a lot of papers. Okay. But forgot where I left them. Now I can't remember anything about it. I probably have the papers. I've scoured the entire uh, space station for all the like collectibles. Do you trust the Astral Express? Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, why not? Oh, damn. Just, uh huh. Yep. Next question. <laughs> What's your relationship with them? Oh, we've been business partners for a long time. Yeah, she's like, I send them out to go get stuff. They come back, I give them stuff. Every once in a while, I'll need them to get me things from mm, other planets. Yep. There and they it is. often come to me to help them solve problems. Okay. All right. So this is the question in question for getting the secret ending. I have not heard her interact vocally with any of these on my main playthrough. So I wanted to kind of showcase them here since it's alongside the playthrough that you guys are going to experience immediately after that. So I hope that's okay. Anyways, about the decision to stay on the space station. Uh, what decision? You're going to have to be more specific. So this one says, should I board the, the express? Well, from an objective standpoint, that is the most rational place for you to be. Yeah, I feel like I know what's going to happen. First of all, you have somewhere to live mm. and you'd be under their protection. Also, it'll be a long trip, <laughs> so you'll have more opportunities to find a way to save yourself from the Stellaron. True. Lastly, if the Stellaron really explodes, <laughs> You won't harm too many people around you. Yeah, you won't harm any important people. Do I have any other choice? Oh, well, how should I know? It's up to you. You have so many options to choose from. This is cool. Maybe jump out a hatch or hop into the fragmentum <laughs> and see if any monsters start worshiping you. Jesus, that's kind of funny. So basically, I have to wrestle with the opportunity of potentially staying on the space station. And I think that's where this line comes in. I really want to stay. <laughs> you really 
really are weird. Wow. What's so good about this place? Even I don't like staying here. <laughs> and I bet she built it. Oh, fine. To be honest with you, I have plenty of ways to seal a mere Stellaron. You just might end up not having a lot of personal freedom. Mm, <laughs> that is true. God, it's so I mean, now that we know about the worlds and like the other opportunities and the other journeys and experiences and the fact that we are literally traveling from world to world, which is a which is a very limited concept to people outside of the uh, trailblazers. It, it would suck to kind of be confined to this place for, for the rest of our lives. If you're so keen to stay, Fine, I'm okay with it. Go speak to Asta. She's the lead researcher. Hmm. She's in charge. Oh, okay. All right, so we need approval from, okay. obviously, the lead researcher here. So we have to go to Asta. And then I think at that point, we can make the final decision to either stay on the uh, space station or, or go with the Astral Express. Oh, thank goodness you're all safe. It's a pity that we haven't had the chance to talk much and yeah. now the Express is about to leave. Do you have any questions? I think I, I haven't gone through her diet. Wow, it's kind of crazy how I missed out on these opportunities back when I was originally playing. I didn't know that there was added dialogue for them. Is the damage to the space station serious? Madame Herta gave me a piece of code, which she apparently wrote on the way here. Uh, I just tried it out and the defense shields regenerating three times faster than before. Good shit, big brain move. Thanks to her, the antimatter legion outside is not much of a threat anymore. Nice. The space station's repairs and reconstruction can also begin smoothly, but internally. Mm, yeah, you got a lot of stuff to work on. When the Stellaron was extracted, even for that brief moment, it corroded the space station and oh. formed a new space, what we now call the Fragmentum. Oh shit, okay. The part that was corroded is irreversible. So the space station will always be in a state of uh, quasi fragmentum. Wow, I did not know that. That's incredible. What are the effects of the fragmentum? All existing fragmentums are connected. So there will be monsters that will enter the space station through its fragment. Oh my god, I was literally thinking that. Like, as I've been grinding through the game, I'm like, canonically, why are there still monsters in the space station? But that makes so much sense now. So like, the, the space station has been affected by the fragmentum because we extracted the Stellaron. So every so, and, and it, like, the fragmentum is kind of like a, a, a portal or a doorway for monsters to travel through, I think. So that's why there are monsters still on here. That, that was actually kind of like on my mind the other day. I talked with Arlan, and there's no easy solution to this yeah, problem. Yeah, makes moment. sense. Good we shit. Can only increase the security and patrol frequency to protect the young. I research. really appreciate the fact that they kind of covered their asses with explaining that. Like, because they didn't have to. They could have just been like, oh, well, you need mobs to fight. But the fact that there's a canonical reason why there are still monsters on the ship is, I really appreciate that. Make sure you don't burn yourself out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> After all this is over, I'm putting my vacation time in with Madame Herta. Damn. I've got it all planned. I'll hop on an airship and give the blue a good look. Be that as it may, taking it in while on vacation and observing it during work are yeah. not the same thing. Is the blue like the ocean or something? Can you see like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what the blue is. I have an actual full vacation. I can take my time to collect observational data and <laughs> finish writing my paper. Is that, but that's not vacation. That's more work. Of course, there's already a lot of published research on the blue, but oh. I study it myself. It might sound a lot like work, but uh, it's really just a hobby. Mm -hmm. Deadlines or quotas to meet and oh. uh, I don't get paid. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. No quota, no deadline. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the one I need to do, but I want to read these other ones. Is there really no way I can help? If you wanted to come back and help, of course I wouldn't refuse you. <laughs> Dan Hung helped inventory our rare items. March 7th said that she would help out as much as she can and connected over 50 wires in the electrical <laughs> room. Sheesh. Everyone from the Express is so obliging. Wow. Yeah, I know. And they're kind of like passerbys too. So they're not here. Like, you know, they're here for a good time, not a long time. And I think you're pretty good at meddling too. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Madam Herta says I can stay on the space station. Huh? Madam Herta said that? Yeah. In that case, mm -hmm. I have nothing against it either. Mind you, if Madam Herta was to do something to you. Uh-oh. She's not going to 
care a lot about oh, what you Oh, God. Think. I'm going to be a freaking science experiment for the Stellaron watch. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Shut All right. So, Asta gave the okay. Herta gave the okay. And now I have to talk and tell Himiko my decision. God damn. Yeah. It, it kind of seems like I'm not really going to have an adventurous life on the space station. I'm basically just going to be a part of the space station for research purposes while they kind of go on their adventures because there's no real opportunity for me to leave the space station i don't really think that you can really go anywhere else outside of like traveling on the astral express so i'm pretty sure that that's what the decision we're gonna make so have you thought things through all right let's see i've made up my mind I, I feel bad making this choice even though on my main account i decided to go with them it's just you know i'm always i'm that type of player that like even if i make an alternate account i will still make the beneficial like you know paragon decisions over the renegade ones because i have too much of a conscience all right i've made up my mind i'll stay stay but Herta? Damn. Herta and Asta both gave me the green light. Is that so? Damn. Well, I respect your choice. Ah, uh, this is so sad. I can't go on their journey. I can't learn about trash lore. Take care. We'll come back now and then to see you. Oh man. So long, Himeko. Please be well. Wow, that is it. <laughs> After careful deliberation, you decide to decline Himeko's invitation. Who's talking? With a long whistle, the Welt? Astral Express prepares to go ahead on its journey. The friends you just made wave goodbye to you, and your farewell is as sudden and final as your meeting. I don't think that's Welt. That sounds like somebody else talking. Oh my god, what a beautiful image. Let me take an image shot of this real quick. After the departure of the Express, wow. the station begins to eagerly rebuild. Meanwhile, Herda and you get busy while researching the Stellaron. Ooh. However, it doesn't take long before Herta loses interest in you and the Stellaron, and Asta arranges for you to become a researcher at the space station. God damn it, Herta. So I literally stayed for no reason. I literally was like, hey, maybe I can help Madame Herta out. And now I'm just like a generic NPC researcher like everybody else with a bomb inside of me on top of that. You spend a peaceful life on the space station. The Express visits a few times wow. before disappearing for good. Aw, man. From the occasional visitors on the station, you hear stories about <gasps> how the final end of the Express and the <gasps> Stellaron Hunters shakes the universe to its very <gasps> core. Sometimes you wonder wow. whether their destiny would have changed had you stepped onto that train. Damn, they were basically like, yo, Endgame got wild and you'll never experience it. Damn, dude. But those stories are no longer for you. I really wonder who's talking. I can't tell if it's Welt or somebody else. I haven't heard Welt talk enough. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Lead actor, free to play. <laughs> That's it! Oh, wow, they gave question marks for March 7th's real name. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's, it's that, that was Elio. I think that was Elio talking because he predicts everything. Oh, what, so what happens to my account? <laughs> do, I, do I have to start a new account now? Like what the heck? Wow, they really just gave us the credits right there. That's insane. Hold on, I need to see if my account's good. Holy moly, may this journey lead us starward. <laughs> well, my journey led me to a lame ass space station. Okay, good. We are saved. Thank God. We don't have to we don't have to commit to a life of mundane monotony. We can actually be gamers. All right, that was very interesting. I actually think that that may have been Elio voice acting for that ending sequence cuz it said the screenplay director almost kind of like we're playing uh like we're in like a, a performance or something, right? Like everyone had credit edits and stuff like that like such and such is such and such very interesting very interesting indeed but uh thankfully this is not the end of our journey this is just a segment of it i wanted to just showcase and like kind of go through that experience and just see how it plays out so uh we are gonna snap back to the actual playthrough here i really hope you guys enjoyed this little early sneak peek if you guys didn't know about the secret ending the bad ending of the game and i hope you guys continue to enjoy my playthrough thanks a lot <laughs> 
All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail playthrough session. I believe I'm on the tail end of content before we move on to our next journey following this introduction sequence of the Herda Space Station and our battle with the Anti-Matter Legion and the entire opening sequence. And I feel like this is kind of like the official foray into the game following all the tutorial stuff. We are going to be jumping into this simulated universe content. I guess it's just going to give us a little taste test of what to expect out of it i am then going to follow through with going through the entire space station finding all the collectibles we might do some pulls as well and i think that will do it for the content overall for today the session has been great so far i decided to put hook in my party just because she is pretty heavily invested now that we no longer have himiko so hook is basically replacing himiko and she is cute as a button look at her little pins and buttons in her hat she literally looks like she's from chinesnaya with that hat <laughs> We're going to be jumping into the simulated universe as per Herta's request. Yes, just stand there and the computer will read your brainwaves and automatically generate an immersive simulated experience. Let's do it. Oh my God. <laughs> just got digitized. Murder of Birds, can you see this message? If you do, just tap anywhere on the screen. Your body is still sitting in the office. This is a simulated universe generated from your memories. This is only the alpha test server where the features are not fully available. Try walking around. Oh my God, this is so weird. So none of this is real. All right, this is all a figment of my imagination. Oh, also, Hook isn't here. Oh, I guess I have default characters now. I want you to play Akavili. Wait, level seven? What the hell? What level are these characters? They're all level six okay yeah we're playing in the alpha version so they're not gonna give me full access to my kit all right let's get this bread i preloaded these two kids <laughs> oh two times speed whoa activate auto battle oh let me try auto battle oh. Rules are made to okay play okay there trailblazer that's a little op if you ask me hey i'm not the one playing i can't criticize what the heck Wait, what the heck is this? There is a murmur in the amber sky. It's dusk. You look up and find countless copper ore, amber, and opal falling from the sky. This is the wondrous mineral rain. In the stream, the colossal thing stretches their spines from the mantle with a sledgehammer gripped in their broad palm. You open your eyes and realize that this is actually Kilpoth, the Aeon of Preservation. What the? We just met an Aeon in the simulated universe? Oh, so this is uh, like March 7th Aeon. Kleepoth. Okay, I didn't know how to pronounce it. Wow, that thing looks so cool. It's like a giant mineral creature. Is this a new trick by Herta? Is this some kind of role play? There is a huge roar around them. This is a warning to you before they disappear before your eyes. Uh-oh. Our calculations are correct. Kleepoth, the Aeon of Preservation, has actually appeared. Oh, is she simulating a situation in this universe? Herta's voice suddenly grounded and she let out an ambiguous giggle. The Aeon of Trailblaze, Akaveli's revival has attracted an old friend. But they ran away. Tell me more about the relationship between the Aeons. What you saw was a simulated Aeon carefully cultivated by Ruan Mei and Skrulum. The simulated Aeon will ignore us just like the real ones. So I set your simulated identity as Akaveli, Aeon of Trailblaze to attract them. With a touch of her tongue, Herta says, now it seems that my judgment is correct. Next time you run into the Aeons, try to get something out of them. Oh, so we're role-playing as Akaveli, the train Aeon? What do you want to know? Myths of the Aeons, anecdotes. Oh, so she was talking about like learning the origin, the truth of Aeons. So what she did was she simulated a situation where two Aeons would communicate with each other. The Aeon of Preservation and me role-playing as Akaveli. Myths of the Aeons, anecdotes, love stories, the origins of the universe, anything will do. Herder was annoyed. Just think of something. Oh, okay. I'll cover you for this test see i used my clearance to enhance your blessings oh so this is almost kind of like uh whatchamacallit the spiral abyss gives you like those buffs so i wonder if that's the same thing now you can go have some fun don't ask why just thank me go pick one all right when a character inflicts weakness break on a target the character gains a shield characters receive a shield at the end of the turn upon entering battle all characters gain a shield try turning off the brief description oh oh what the hell it actually like obstructs the actual effects why the hell is that even on by default after applying weakness break gain a shield that will absorb damage equal to 18 percent of maximum hp lasts for three turns see if i didn't know that i would have assumed that oh and they're all ranked at the end of the turn character gains a special shield that absorbs damage lasts for one turn all right i'll go for this two star one 
Let's switch to Don Hung. Let's enhance for increased damage. I'm not going to get a break on that, but we'll have an attack buff, I think. Neither of those things worked out for this fight. Oh, here we go. Let's get both of them. Take this. Nice. Oh, now we just clean this up. Just break right here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to clean this up. I also have the speed increase. I'm going to try that out too. See how fast combat goes. Alas, Keepoth didn't come. I guessed as much. Pick the blessing that turns shields into damage and hurry onward. Okay. I assume it's this three-star one. After the character launches an attack, deal quake damage equal to 100% of the character's current shields. Let's pick this one. Are we trying to provoke an encounter? And the more blessings we get, the higher that opportunity will be for us, I assume. All right, let's try out this two times speed. Oh, damn, that's quick. Oh, shit. Well, I guess after all of, like, the initial experiences that you see in the game, it would kind of get repetitive and drag on. I'll probably only use the speed once I've seen everything there is to see at this point. I won't do it for any, like, story content either. I think that would be a little unnecessary. This should do it. Rules are made to be broken. Oh, my God. I thought they would die off that. Nice. Hurt is getting pissed. She's like, come on now. This is re getting ridiculous. I'm going to stick to like the higher skills. So the three star after a character attacks deals quake equal to 420%. Yo, 420 blaze it. Darn it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's not going to work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, they probably won't come now. Oh my God. What's happening to all... Dude, the alpha patch is... Damn, bro. Sorry. I temporarily revoked your activity permissions. Uh, I need to apologize to you about something. I confess. I'm a little too eager for success. I won't interfere with the system again. Just play as you like. Kleepoth's appearance was probably just a coincidence. That's it. Anyways, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yo, just let me be a gamer, okay? I got this. You can trust me, Herda. This isn't my first rodeo. All right, so this is kind of like a boss fight right now oh god the music is so good oh my god this is so good man all right let's hit him with this with this and with this the truth of life and death let's get it sanctuary is but a vision Break. hell yeah are made to be broken Bop. wow this goes by a lot quicker now with the freaking two times speed my goodness there we go oh what the <gasps> what is this? Durin? Is that you? Simulated universe. The fight is over and you wait in place, but nothing happens. Herta? There's a long silence followed by a deep sigh from Herta. I was expecting them to appear. Never mind. I'll switch off the simulated universe then. It'll only take a second and you won't feel a thing. Let's chat back in reality. Bro, what is going on? What are all these like crazy abomination creature things? Uh, Herta? They came. You hear Herta's stunned words. No, not them. It's another Aeon. It's her voice suddenly drifts off. You have a strange feeling about this, as if Herda's words solidified and the whole simulated universe became somehow unreal. <gasps> Oh shit, that's Remembrance. That's Fooly, the Aeon of Remembrance. I wrote about that earlier. This is the Aeon that like governs the light cones, I think. You see a blurry figure made of mirror fragments and their facial features are repeatedly refracted by the prism to form a mystery. Countless memories spring up before your eyes. You see Kafka. Her body is stretched, deformed, and rubbed together with an umbrella in her hand, turning into rain droplets and falling at your feet. Oh my God. You find yourself becoming a weeping Adlevin baby with an uncut umbilical cord. What the hell is this? You remember that there is a golden scar on your body and golden blood flowing on a dying planet. You find yourself dark skinned and wearing a robe on a wasteland. You find that you are a swift shadow across the abyss, reaching out to catch the shooting star. Bro, the abyss, what is happening here? Then their voice suddenly came. The robe fluttered and wrapped around your dark skin. You laugh at exploration. The silk threads spin, overlap, and weave into oceanic words. Every word they say is connected to each other other like a whisper before you could say anything they suddenly disappear they have controlled my brain we did it herta yelled with excitement that was fooly they thought you were the fallen akavili so they actually started a conversation with you fooly is valuable for our research because they have the memories of all beings and know almost as much about everything as naus does the aeon of erudition come on out murder of birds i want to upgrade the simulated universe you need to stay in there even longer in the future you said you wouldn't 
shouldn't interfere anymore. It feels like the hooks pull out of your belly and your entire body trembles in a circle. When you open your eyes, you're already back in Herta's office. Your experience in the simulated universe has ended. I feel like the simulated universe is eventually going to become like super relevant to the main plot line because you can simulate any actuality of reality without it having like the necessary drawbacks. But I almost feel like the simulated universe might not actually be completely simulated. Like those Aeons might transcend the simulation. So those still might be real encounters we're having. Maybe. But that's huge. Success. I have to tell this news to Steven right away. Murder of Birds. Don't just stand there. Go in again for a walk and see if you can have a few more words out of them or something. You should show me some respect. You have no right to order me around. Oh, you're right. I got too excited. I'm sorry. I do respect you. If you don't mind, could you please go in for another test? I've upgraded the simulated universe. Now it has even more RAM and can support longer sessions. I guess the last round was pretty boring, so I'll get Steven to add more fun stuff. This part is specifically made for you. I hope you have lots of fun. Yay, I love fun games. Steven said the same thing. I don't really get it, but whatever. What's more important is the reward also increases. Overall, this is a long scheduled version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and a more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready and prepare to get back into the simulated beta test. I will help you out more. Oh shit, we actually got her. Well, we already had her, but we have her Eidolon now. Nice. And we got a light cone. Oh, and we jumped up to Trailblazer 7, which means we get the Trailblazer 10 pull. Not bad, not bad. Leave Herta's office. All right. I guess we now have the option of doing more simulated universe if we want to. Searching, then you go running, searching, running, jump. I love Hook. She's so cute. Use Navigate to quickly move between different... Okay, so now we have full access of the map. We can switch locations and we can also teleport. So this is where the train station is. So this is where I need to go to progress the plot. But what I'm going to do now is we are going to do a slight backtrack, a quick shuffle through. I'm going to go back through all of these other like locations on the ship because you have these treasures, the warp trotter. Basically want to get 100% of the items discovered and found in the space station before I move on to the next location. So I'm going to do that really quick. We're going to run around a little bit. I think I'll be able to refight old mobs and just get some materials, which I think is what I'm going to focus on. We'll do some pulls and then I think that's where I'll call it. This person here, I believe, gives us access to the shop. Here we go. Okay. In the world shop, you can buy goods with the corresponding world currency. I have 190 right now. Oh, so this is kind of like the sigil shop in Genshin. Any purchases are counted with the accumulated spending. Ah, oh, I see. Accumulated spending will get you additional rewards. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, so I have 190 so you can get materials. Once you reach the certain levels, you can get some relics. This is like an idolin for the destruction path for the trailblazer. Hello again. Oh, we have a text message. Hey, um, it's me. I've got your number without asking. Are you still at the station? Of course, we haven't said farewell yet. Oh, that's cool. We got a little text messages. Of course, the station is launching a program called Project Revival. If you have time, I'd like to ask for some help. Oh no, my phone's credits for this month are running out. This is the last message. Come, I'll be waiting. Oh, is this a mission? Oh, okay. These are side missions that I can do. So I'm gonna have to plan that out. Accord oh, what is this? Little robot? Cooking genius number one, two, three. Scanning user identification information. Please do not move your name card or face. Scan successful. The meal package available at pickup of station business meal. Delivery? Oh shit, we just got some food. We just got freaking Uber Eats delivered to us on the space station. Poggers. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize that I didn't try hook skill ability. That's sick. We're going to run it back. I am going to teleport to these earlier locations, and I'm going to try my best to get all of the collectibles and fight any mobs that I haven't fought already if there are some. Oh, actually, there's a bunch of civilians chilling over here now. It's a little awkward. Oh, what the heck is that thing? It's like a money pig. Pause, champ. Quantum, imaginary, and physical. Oh, this gives up Stellar Jade? Oh, that's based. Okay, I definitely want to fight this thing then. All right, I'm going to switch to Don Hung. I really want to try to kill this thing because it looks like it'll run away. So Single target. Okay, so this is all big single target damage. Let's go. Just a scratch. They're frozen. Wait, wait, wait. Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Okay, I have a full session to kill this thing. Oh, this is going to be so close. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're so close. Oh, I think it's going to get away. 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. GG. All right, I got to kill it right here. I'm going overkill. I don't give a damn. All right, let's do this. There we go. Dude, those things are tanky. No interesting conflict. All right, I wasn't paying attention. I was so tunnel visioned on that freaking pig that I wasn't paying attention that my team is almost dead. Oh dear. We got this. We can bring this back, chat. Thank fucking God. We did it. I hereby pronounce this expedition a success. <laughs> we should have full access to the space station. Ooh, okay. Hello, Herta. No react. Oh, okay. She's not. <laughs> I completely forgot she's not connected to this puppet at the moment. God damn it. I got debated by the damn puppet. Damn, dude. You know what? Give me my treasure chest and let me be on my way. You've embarrassed me enough as it is. So we did get the warp trotter. So that's one out of one. And we still have five more chests to find in the area. So let's do that. Three out of four curios are missing. Uh-oh, that's not good. If it isn't the infamous murder of birds, surely you are here to volunteer in the curio collection squad inspired by the declaration of revival. I have heard good things about you please excuse my informal reception please allow me to introduce myself i am wen mingdi head of the herta department of implemented arts i am also the curio collection squad leader in charge of establishing safe areas in the base zone allow me to be frank i am currently troubled by the lack of human resources available for the curio collection squad there are four zones on the space station with our current capacity we can only take care of one if the situation persists i wonder if we'll be able to achieve the objective we have set out in the declaration of revival please don't hesitate to ask all right you know what? i'll ask these questions later that's fine this area for example i cannot access there's still more to do so i actually might not be able to 100 percent everything at the moment oh yo base you know what? i'll just get whatever chests i can find in the general area and whatever i can't find we'll have to come back at a later time oh what the heck there's like a freaking medical bay over here too i'm just taking a gander look at that treasure chest right here a destructible item right here I think we're kind of good in here now. Uh, there's three items missing over here, but I have a feeling they're locked out to this one area right here, this hallway, and then this end area over here. So unfortunately, I can't find any more than I already have, I think. Oh my God, there's another herd of clone over here. Watch. Oh wait, no, this is the real one. Okay. You look like you need work. How about assisting me in a tiny experiment? Eh. I think I'll pass right now. So this Herta's actually in her little chamber area, like her collectible section area. Oh, all right, let's get access. Oh, more curios, Pog. Oh, we got a collectible right here. Herta collection room code of conduct. Nice. I'm going to look at these curios in tomorrow's session. I don't want to get too caught up. Oh my God, a deck of cards. Oh, what the heck? That looks like a broken piece of a sword or something. That's giving me like Honkai Impact 3rd, like a broken piece of the God Slayer vibes. I swear to fucking God. Oh my God, a wing glider. Wait, yo, this actually might be a piece of Himiko's sword. Dude, this is a wing glider from Genshin. Oh my goodness. I don't know what the heck that is. Holy moly. That's so freaking cool. So these might all be references to Hoyo versus other games, right? I only know Genshin and Honkai Impact. They have a couple of other ones too. Oh my gosh, that is so sick. That wing glider. Holy moly. That's like the default wing glider too. Oh, what is this? Ordinary robot providing very ordinary life services aboard the station. You notice a button sticking out of the robot. Looks like it might be a power button. You saved just a teeny bit of power on the space station oh okay was i supposed to do that was i supposed to shut this thing down oh dear oh there's some enemies over here still okay maybe i want to run it down with don hung yeah let's do that let's get the triple oh my gosh get him <laughs> let's see hook's ultimate actually i'm gonna get off of the super speed just so i can see it properly <laughs> look at this Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That is adorable. Also really reckless and destructive and I have so many concerns but good god. Blast. Hold up. Cheese. 
damage. Big damage. I love how she runs back to her location after she fights. We got into two encounters because there were two enemies next to each other. So I just realized that as well. That's pretty cool. Let's come over here real quick. I'm going to grab this. Oh, wait. Fragmentum corrosion. Warped material in black and gold meanders along the floor of the space station. A phenomenon known as fragmentum corrosion. Interesting. I wonder if that has to do with the antimatter legion breaking into this place earlier. All right. So there's a few points of entry that I need to follow up on. Oh, like this open sesame oh yeah okay so i have not been over here yet all right let's fight these goons see what's up there we go okay easy damage from march 7th no biggie Stay right there while i give you a present all right let's grab this bah. you could still surrender bah. oh doing a normal attack increases her damage oh yeah that's right if i do attacks skills and ultimates it all stacks i remember now bah. Oh my goodness. That was instant. Jeez, man. So now we got to play a little bit of the mix-up game here. Looks like I have to travel with these light bridges. Uh-oh. All right, we'll grab this guy. Uh, oh my gosh, March 7th herself. Could it be? Just put that on herself. Easy. Ooh, fire, ice, quantum. Okay. I'm going to try to get Hook in here. Uh, I think we'll have Hook do this one. I loved it. Look at this. This is so destructive. It's just like a giant land drill that's following her. Good God. Oh my gosh, did we get a follow-up? Okay. Oh, that's right. This is the Eidolon, which gives it a chance for the AoE to affect other enemies. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh, I love it. Gosh, man, I love this game. It's so fun. It's so good. I don't think there's... Oh. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to grab that. Oh, and then I'm going to hit this switch right here. And then I think that'll connect me back up top. Oh, uh, that might be it, I think. Fingers crossed. So far, I don't really think I found a whole lot of items. Oh, okay, so this is the last bridge. There we go. And then this connects me back here. Nice, nice, nice. Nicely done. Now I can get to that room over there, which probably has some items. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, a precious chest too. Good shit. Yeah, that was the only thing that was in here. Sheesh. Let's see if there's anything else of note. I can teleport out of here, though. Yeah, I'll just teleport right here. All right, so this is the room. We are finished. Oh, there we go. Hey, big freeze. Yeah, I'm probably going to level up my characters, too, before we get to the... Oh. Oh! Level 16. I do not think I'm ready for this yet. <laughs> oh, there's a precious chest. I could probably level up my current team, but I don't want to waste resources on characters that I might not be using long term. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to know when to pick my battles and come back to that later. I like Hook. She's great. That's another good thing, too, about fighting all of the mobs that you come across. You get a bunch of resources and you might not need them now, but eventually I think it's wise to just like kind of work towards them at the very least. So you're passively farming. And by the time you need those resources, you'll already have them. So it's a good idea. Kind of done right now on this floor, at least. So I'm going to move on to this final area here. I'm going to start at this back end because I do not want to go on the train station yet. Like, I don't want to leave the station. Oh, and look at that more mobs pog also this little guy i'm gonna power him off i think i'm supposed to do that i think i'm supposed to power off these robots looks like i gotta like save power or something we're in the server room it seems oh some new music this seems a little different than what we're used to all right nothing over here nothing over here oh what is this investigate the screen display reads schedule a meeting there are detailed tables below with corresponding times all of the meeting rooms are fully booked this is the only free room you look for a blank spot your hand suddenly begins to feel itchy book a meeting after selecting your time the interface pops up asking you to select participants you cannot find the exit button you decide to randomly check a few names on the faculty list not even caring that they are not from the same department after all interdepartmental research is the future of academia a row of the characters pops up on the screen booking complete uh, did i just book like meetings with people that like they have no idea they're booked for a meeting now what the heck that's a little weird okay damn don't miss your meeting you can come back later oh, okay i guess i'll do that then see what's over here oh 
Another room? Oh, what the heck? What's that? What is the little kid doing in here? Oh, it's Adler. Right. All right, Adler. I think you need to be in timeout. Oh, this was the kid that was like laughing at that girl while she was crying. Yo, what is he doing here? How strange. It was right there a minute ago. Did my eyes make a mistake? It can't be. Are you looking for something? Ah, please don't sneak up behind people, especially when they're concentrating. However, I don't think I've seen you before. Are you a new researcher? Judging by your outfit, you don't look like you're a big shot of the department of ecology anyways i better not talk about this with you what creature do you study rare species of course those little creatures are so much more interesting than human grown-ups however the curiosity in your eyes i don't see that in a lot of grown-ups eyes let me know if you have any questions i'll tell you everything i know is he talking about like the little stellar jade pig that i've been fighting what is your favorite rare species wow this little kid's a researcher as a researcher i treat every rare species equally i don't have a preference but from my personal perspective i'd say what Bubaboos are my favorite. Although they can be mischievous sometimes, they are very logical and they value relationships a lot. They're a lot better than the grown-ups in the space station. What made you study rare species? Their ways of expression and thinking are very different from human grown-ups, but their ways of handling things and the motives behind their behaviors are undeniably far more logical than that of the humans. It's probably their sense of logic that makes me want to study them. Can you understand their language? Of course. You might think I am a kid, but I understand many languages spoken by rare species their languages are not in the same dimension as ours they only use one syllable to express many different meanings for example wubaboo's short and long winds mean completely different things you can join the department of ecology to study it if you are interested okay you know what i'll leave you to your research kid i had no clue this kid had like a freaking phd in linguistics of rare species the device is automatically locked to unlock it please enter your password choose numbers randomly with eyes closed wrong password if you forgot your password please select recover password okay recover password verification protocol in progress verification protocol verification successful verification as space station researcher please choose a retrieval method uh let's do security question please answer the following question who is the biggest influence in your life parents co-workers all right you know what i'm gonna choose madam herta because we're literally on her space station correct <laughs> impartial wise objective three-dimensional and to the point madam herta admires such thoughtful and conscious young researchers who dare to tell the truth dare to tell the truth please answer the next question what is the most outstanding research result you have received in the space station joining the space station wrong uh-oh none so far oh correct humble and self-aware answers that show bravery to admit shortcomings madam herta admires such thoughtful and conscious researchers please answer the last question where is the spare physical security card of this terminal stored the mystery contained in the flying paper crane oh I, that was a shot in the dark right there okay hey i did it i hacked in someone's computer find an origami crane near the terminal to solve your lack of credentials um oh right here okay the origami crane that perhaps contains the password to the terminal if it hadn't stopped me i would have never parted with you i just want to have you as my companion to live my days off fully we laugh together even if we're watching boring soap operas i really like you peppy i even brought some cookies for you to grind your teeth on something doesn't seem right you dimly recall peppy being arlen's puppy and can't help but worry about the mental state of the researchers aboard the space station this is evidently not the terminal's password oh dear congratulations oh okay so was that just like a random side or maybe i have to talk to arlen about that interesting let's carry onward <laughs> Oh, I just realized they give a little bit of different voice acting lines when you speed up the process. That's so funny. All right, let's open this up. This is another doorway that... Oh, the pig! There's another pig here. Yo, free Stellar Jade, let's go. All right, I have to be careful not to tunnel vision like I did last time. I just need to get as much damage in on this pig as possible. Get him. Nice. You can still surrender. Get him, Hook! Oh, this is gonna be so close. Ah, uh, okay, it's scared. It's scared. This Fuck! Oh my god, this is so insane. I have to be a little bit more. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. All right, let's do this. God, this is gonna be so close. March 7th, get him. Nice! All right, we gotta stop it. We gotta stop it right here. We gotta stop it. 
There we go. Gosh, man, these freaking pig battles are insane. Don Hung, he took an L for us, but we came out with the stellar jade pig. Easy clap, boys. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a puzzle that I got to go through. Okay, let's see. Well, that was easy. <laughs> GG, easy clap, boys. Bountiful treasure. Good. Oh, and we have a uh, collectible right here too. Okay, so we got all the collectibles on this floor, which is nice. This one has a couple that I don't know if I'll be able to get because there's an enemy here that's level 16. In order to get this other puzzle, you got to go through those enemies. So I don't know if that'll be possible for me. And then it seems like there's a room here. Like this entire pathway is locked out for me at the moment. So I think these are all of the resources that I can get at the moment. This is where the plot takes me. I am not going to go over there because I do not want to progress the story. So we are going to make our way back to the master control zone. Like I said, we kind of made it through all of the exploration and collect a thoning we can on the Herda space station thus far. I do have a world quest with Arlen that I'll probably most likely be doing tomorrow. There's also some pretty interesting curios in the extended collection bay that we recently just discovered that seem to be little Easter eggs of other Hoyoverse games, including Genshin Impact and Honkai Impact pack third which was pretty awesome so we're gonna be checking all of that stuff out for tomorrow but i wanted to close off the stream doing a couple of pulls just to kind of close out the content just because i don't want to progress any further into the mainline story because it does require us getting on the train and leaving this place and going to another area and i feel like that's a nice starting point for the next stream i'll be doing i've been streaming the game for seven and a half hours thus far which i think is a testament to how fun the game is this is exactly the exact same energy that i had with Genshin Impact where I was playing Genshin for like seven, eight hours straight on the day of its release. And here I am two and a half years later with Honkai Star Rail, which is just as fun. It's just as exciting to get into like new characters and new worlds, new story content, new type of gameplay and everything else in between. I do want to close out and try my luck at doing a couple of pulls here. We did get a free 10 pull for hitting Trailblazer level five. So I'll put my wishes into standard. I'll pull for Zila's weapon off stream most likely and I'll just show that progress tomorrow. I will go into my next five star, unless this is my five star. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to be difficult, like Kaya and Amber and Lisa, how difficult it's going to be to get constellations for characters that were given free. Oh, hello, Gepard freaking weapon refinement. I don't know if it's called refinement or something else in this game. But yeah, that's another Gepard weapon right there. We have 24,000 crystals left or jade i should say that should be enough for at least one more five star all right pom pom appreciate you my guy oh oh shit we got a serval idolin okay we did get the free serval when we started so that's not bad i still do need to try her out and see how she plays but not bad oh run it back what do we got what do we got oh oh my gosh i got this weapon earlier too i think this was the one i used for her to i still need to figure out what the rest of these three star light cones are all about i definitely want to not build them but i definitely want to save some of them in case they're hard to come by or some of them might be sleepers we got an asta idolin nice i want to use her as well maybe tomorrow i'll swap out hook since she's also pyro i think asta will be pretty good again i think i'm only gonna go until my five star and then i'll call it here i love the animation for these super creative oh speak of the devil <laughs> Day one of my new life, March 7th. Wow. I think this is a March 7th uh, light cone, four star light cone. I also realized too, I'm getting all of these embers will allow me to buy some stuff in the shop too. Oh my God, another serval. E E2, I think E2 serval. Nice, not bad. We're getting close to that five star. Some of these new light cones, I'm gonna definitely look into them for tomorrow. Oh shit. Okay. It's another weapon for Sampo. That's probably a refinement right there for his weapon. I really do want to take my time and potentially try out every character. It's just a matter of having the elements for them. That one battle I did without Don Hung was so difficult because I needed wind and he's the only wind character I have. Ooh, an Arlen Idolin. So that's E1 for Arlen. Nice. We should be rounding out pretty soon. I think maybe one or two more temples should do it. It's either going to be a weapon or a character. Maybe both. That'd be Pog. Oh, Sushang. Nice. Oh my gosh. I feel like she's going to be like a sleeper character. I think we got E2 for her, which is nice. All right. This is the five star. I swear. Bro, I can't be doing this with Gepard, I swear to God. We got two Gepards, and we got, um... Oh! 
I just realized it's five o'clock in the morning. I gotta keep my voice down. Bro, we got wells. <laughs> Holy shit. What are these fragmented pictures over here? The blonde person in the background. Am I tripping balls or is that? I think that's Tesla. Oh my goodness gracious. Yo, it's everyone from Honkai Impact 3rd. Oh my God, dude. We got welts. <gasps> and we got a light cone under the blue sky. I wonder who this is. Yo, give me that double five star. That'd be nutty. Nice. We got welt. Okay, hold on. What is this one? Destruction. Increase the wearer's attack by 16%. When the wearer defeats an enemy, increase the wearer's crit rate by 12% for three turns. Wow. <laughs> we got old man welt. This man just saved our ass in the story. He's the only imaginary character at the moment, which is huge because there's a lot of characters or a lot of enemy types that I've seen thus far that are weak against imaginary but he's the only one so we have gepard welt and zila but off of the standard banner we have two of the standard banner characters so far how many pulls in am i 170 so i'm guaranteed at least one more five star before my guaranteed five star of my choice and we have two of the five stars off of this list here and it seems like i'm still gonna go for bronia bronia and bailu those are really the two that i still want i'm kind of switching up a little bit i might actually go for clara instead of bailu only because i I think Natasha does a really good job. She has single target healing and her ultimate heals everybody at once. But I know that Bailu can revive somebody if they die. But Bailu is also electric. I have too many electric characters as well. Natasha is at least physical. The character I am going to choose is going to be Bronya unless I get her. And if I get her, it might be Clara. I have Gepard already. I have Welt already. Himiko seems pretty good, but like I don't really feel like I need a lot of multi-target damage characters. The single target ones do a good enough job job so we'll have to see but uh yeah we'll do more pulls tomorrow i think i might also go for actually you know what i haven't pulled on the weapon banner yet let me do one weapon pull i might get goaded i might get lucky it's not a five star i'll tell you that right now i get a freaking character on the weapon banner of all things okay all right hook is literally the freaking spoiled child of my account hook is getting all of the love all of the attention all of the freaking weapon pulls all the idolin pulls it is insane dude and with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think I am officially going to close out day one of my Honkai Star Rail streaming session. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the experience thus far. I've been playing for seven and a half hours. It's been an absolute experience. I really, really like the game thus far. I'm hoping to make it a bit further in the story. I know we took a little bit of detours with pulling for characters and leveling up and building and trying a bunch of different teams and seeing everybody's abilities and animations and in combat and whatnot but it was great i had an amazing time the music of this game is so goaded i hope you guys enjoy the game i would love to know what you guys think about the game your experiences of it and everything else like that also again be sure to check out the link in the description for anyone on youtube who wants to check out honkai star rail the link helps me out a bunch and it lets you download the game directly from that link on whatever platform that you prefer big thank you big shout out to honkai star rail and uh hoyoverse for sponsoring the stream i'm just excited to continue to play and make more progress and see where the story goes and you know experience more of the other characters and the other locations but i love the space station and everything else in between thank you guys all so much for the love thank you for the support as always it was a blast i had a lot of fun and we will see you all in the next one take care